6, Pueblo County Law Enforcement prepare for the worst, training today for an active shooter situation. Now, this comes just days after that deadly school shooting out in Oregon. With that tragedy fresh on our minds, Birchelle Edme was right there alongside officers for today's training. She's here now to tell us how the practice scenario is making an impact. That's right, Katie. Tactical team members I spoke with say they're hoping they'll, ha they'll never have to use this training, but as shootings become more prevalent, they're using new strategies to stop a shooter. There were the gunshots, and it smelled like smoke and fire, and the fire alarm started going, and you couldn't hear anything, and all that... Your heart was pounding and your blood was racing and all you were wondering was who was going to come around the corner, whether it was going to be friend or foe. This recent Eaton High School grad says her panic during this stage scenario was all real. At least 600 students would be in class when the shooter struck and hundreds more at the neighboring middle school. Do you feel like you're prepared for a situation like this? Uh, no, probably not. I feel like it would be, I would be more comfortable if I knew like the teachers and staff had like training and knew how to like handle a situation like taking down the person. That's why local law enforcement and the school district partnered for this training. Teachers and staff have learned new objectives, including how to barricade their classrooms and the best ways to escape on their own. But even with the new strategies, officials told me it's still tough to imagine. How do you feel emotionally? watching your students lie there and knowing that in a real situation they could actually be dead. Uh, it's very difficult. Once we heard the gunshots first go off, uh, the assistant principal, Stane Hughes, and I uh, took off running, um, emotionally tied to it, sweating, uh, adrenaline rush, um, very difficult to go through. The principal says active drills while school's in session also prepares the district. Chief Chad DePew says training adds another level to that preparation. The number one objective is to locate the gunman and make sure he can uh, kill no more. So obviously it's the safety of the students as, and be able to ensure their safety. We have to locate the threat and neutralize the threat. In this scenario, officials and police secured students, although as part of the exercise, several suffered from serious gunshot wounds. Police also told me a big part of finding a shooter is communicating and collaborating. The fire department, the sheriff's department, EMS, and many more were part of this scenario. Birshal Admay, 2 News, working for you.